Hey yo, how's it going today guys? We are going to jump right back into the uh, Breath of the Wild semi-casual playthrough and uh, I think right now we're gonna just go around Kakariko and gather a bunch of Koroks and whatnot around the village. So I know there's a bunch there's a bunch around the village um, trying to think I know there's a couple he here um, pretty sure this is one up here um, they're all around like up on these peaks and uh, this is one where you have to make sure the apples are the same on all the trees and whatnot I'm gonna go out this exit um, actually we're not gonna whistle sprint because I think that this is the exit that the beetles can be out of don't remember exactly where these are I just know that there's a good number of them around whoa uh, hello are you okay that donkey was sliding um, all right, I don't see I don't see energetic ride of beetles so this might not be the right way one I don't think this was the right exit for what I was thinking of but it's okay because I know there's that one up there before I forget again this will be incredibly helpful can I All right, well I got a little bit of stamina back it's just kind of steep That's what we want to do. Oh, goodness. Everything around here is so tall. Let me look at the map one more time. Okay, yeah, this is what I was looking for. There's one on that little cliff right there. And then... So we went out this exit. So it's the other exit? I know there's some... Maybe there? I'm not sure. There's so many Korok seeds. And I don't really need them, but again, this is... We're, we're semi-casual, so we're just going to grab some of them. If I get two or three, that'll be fine. And we'll move on to something else. I don't need to... Get every single one of them don't plan to get every single one of them. Alright. So here's a fun trick if you didn't know. These Koroks you have to match the apple. There's two trees that like kind of tell you what you need. And then the third one. Oh well. The third one has the full thing of apples. And you're supposed to pick the apples to where they match. But you can just use stasis and kind of cheat it where it only checks to make sure that the other apples are not in place and the one is. And so you can use stasis like that and just knock down the tree and all the other ones will fall down. Um, see, I know there's one on one of these peaks, but I don't remember which one. And it's going to be a pain in the butt to find out. Alright, let's just climb this. Why not? I think I can stand on this. Yep. No sliding. Alright, so it's not as bad as I thought because there's a couple places to stand. I was thinking about it after the last recording and I should grab more heart soon before I finish out the stamina wheel because it's going to take me what, 12 more shrines to finish out that second wheel? And I've already died, like, four times. So I should take the time to finish it. Ooh, this is the right peak. Cool. Give me that Korok seat. And I always drop the rock back on their head for 
being in annoying spots. Uh, I need to make sure I'm on the line so I don't get lag stopped. Right. This is how professionals do it. I never do it this way. And then I messed up my line anyway. Whatever. That is going to be a terrible angle. But we've already committed to it. Never mind, it's fine. Got Korok over here. Uh, hello? Is this not a Korok? Uh, our torch is almost broken anyway. Oh, I don't want the torch. Um... Okay, I guess this isn't Korok. I was thinking we had a Korok. There's something over here. Might be a chest. Yeah. Okay, I know there's a way to actually pull these out without throwing it, but I never did it right, so... Okay, at least we got it. Because I hate following it down. Oh, come on. I'm pretty sure I'm full up. But I, I want that. Press the wrong button. I want this button. Nope. Nope. I'm just mashing it, so. Phrenic bow is really good. It's got great zoom. And shoots really far. We will definitely take that. Okay. There's a bunch of fish down here. I'm pretty sure that, I think there's a chest in that water too. I don't care that much. Okay. Where to next? Over there to get that one. Sure, why not? This is a good angle or not. No, you're not going to trick me again. I'm surprised that worked. We waited a long time, but it was just, uh, my controller did the little flick and went back to the square bomb, so I almost blew myself up. Probably would have been another silly death. I'm getting pretty good at those. This is why we need to get hearts, because I could have easily died just because of my control stick wanted to flick back. Alright. We're probably going to call that good on Korok Seeds for now. I don't feel like hunting the other ones. Is there one? I keep... See, I want to say there's one on top of the, um... This hut. Because, as I mentioned in the last one, if it's a noteworthy building, there's usually a Korok on it. But I can't remember... We'll go over that real quick. Oh yeah. That was a really good one, so we got lag stopped. Unfortunately, that just happens to be the case sometimes. It was a kind of bad angle, just because of the direction we jumped. No, don't fall. I thought there was one out here. But I guess I was wrong. I know there's a an eye. Let's just try real quick to shoot it. Okay. Alright, in that case, we are going to move on. Yeah. Um, I kinda want this, but I don't know if we have the money for it yet. I really like that set. Uh, just visually, it looks really good. And then once you upgrade it and you get the night speed up, it's really nice. And since we didn't grab Majora's Mask, stealth up is pretty good. Um, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to do... We're going to get some easy cash. Be 
because y'all aren't my mom and you can't tell me not to use Amiibos. Plus, we might get some of the cool, unique armor. I'm sure, uh, oh, I gotta switch controllers for this. Because I'm using a pro controller that doesn't have Amiibo support. Hey, yo. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, my audio, or my, my video cut out because of, I've, I accidentally kind of undocked the switch whenever I was trying to grab the, um, the Joy-Cons connected to it so that I could do the Amiibos. Um, and so it stopped recording. Well, um, so y'all didn't miss much. I, uh, I used a few Amiibos. We got, um, we got some good gear. I, I sold a bunch of stuff to get the money for this, and then I came up here and upgraded it, and that's about it. I'd like to say it was completely uneventful, but, uh, oh, we also got, uh, the Traveler's bridle and saddle, but and that's not, it's not huge. I'd like to say it was completely uneventful, but, uh, if you've used Amiibos before, you might know that, that, um, like, it'll spawn a chest and, a and, like, a bunch of, uh, food items like meats or fish or mushrooms things like that and sometimes it'll spawn the metal crates and sometimes it'll spawn barrels I had one spawn the barrels and I've never had this happen for it spawned an explosive barrel so I went to go break them all and I wasn't really paying attention because I was just kind of rushing through it and uh, the explosive barrel blew me up and I went down to a quarter of a heart so, uh, this playthrough is really just, uh, it's killing me. And it's pretty funny. <laughs> As I've mentioned, I've done challenge runs that are much harder than a casual playthrough and had a lot less trouble than I'm currently having. Something about being on camera, man, it, uh, it brings out the death in you. But yeah, uh, we have a bunch of pretty good weapons now, uh, thanks to the amiibo. I didn't want to. I didn't want to abuse it too hard, so I didn't use like the champion amiibos or anything, and I didn't. I didn't grab a couple things, uh, just because I didn't want to get anything too amazing. And now that I know it was off camera, uh, I almost feel like throwing these items away just so that we're all on the up and up. Another Korok seed. I haven't decided on where I'm going next. Um, I mean, I'll probably grab another tower, but maybe make our way to Hot No. Yeah, this crosses to the other side. So yeah, I believe there's about 20 more minutes in this recording. I kind of looked back at the first one. I'm not sure uh, I'm going to have to splice those two clips together and using the software that I'm using now, it's probably going to take forever to render. But it is what it is. That's my bad for undocking the switch anyway. Uh, what field is this? Oh man, it'd be nice to have a map. I can't see any towers. Because I was just... I'm just going to go to the next tower, but... Oh, there's the one over there. Is that the... The one by the Korok Forest, or is that the one actually in uh, the Death Mountain area? I have no idea where I am. Just trying to get a better vantage point. Oh. You can't fool me. Took a, a screenshot, you know. Finger flubs abound. Alright. Alright, so that is a. Okay. I need to get it. I really like this shrine over here. And I'm using the, the stealth set, so I should be able to. Be my friend. Beautiful. 
Okay. Let's go, bud. It's actually wearing this set and riding an antler deer is like my favorite aesthetic of this game. So I really like this shrine quest. And Cass is my guy. I like the accordion a lot and I like his a aesthetic. Uh, do do this. Let's lit up. On the foot. There we go. Just missed the center of the circle. Wow, this is an unskippable cutscene. That's a. Uh, this is the one that they don't want you to skip. Just a shrine slowly rising out of the ground. All right, thank you, friend. I was about to say, I feel like this is the first shrine we've done in a while, but I did one last episode because I did the, the Kakariko tutorial. I think that's the only one I did in the last one. Slow pace. Um, okay, this is the one where this makes that go around. Now it's over there. Okay. So. I'm trying to think of how you how you're supposed to do it. no wind in here, right? That'll just sit. Okay. There's a bunch of ways to do all the shrines, but this one too. Okay. Now, can I reach that from here? I can't. I can't. Okay. I should set this up first. Oh well, it's fine, because I can blow up this one, and then we'll shoot it, get to the third side, and then we'll blow it up with the square bomb to get to the last side. I do want this. Um, Damaged. We'll drop that. I like having a. I like having a sledgehammer. Oh, that's why we want the block. But that's fine. Um, because we can do this. Uh, excuse me? Alright, looks like we're going pro strats. Because that's stupid. I oh, I thought I didn't get the bullet time. Yep, pro strats. We did it. I am just going to boomy zoomy in there. I'm not doing this thing around again. Give my arrow back. Can't believe I wasted it on you. Alright. Don't mess it up. I don't think I... I was about to say, I don't think I pulled out the bow. As I say, don't mess it up. Hello, bomb. I have blown myself up with bombs by like not knowing where they are after I do that so many times. 
Oh wait, I if I hit that wall, I'm gonna take damage. I might not be able to do this. You know what? We're going casual. Why not? I'm just gonna put this on there. Whatever. I don't want this to get blown up by the circle bomb, so my placement's gonna have to be better. Alright. I guess I could also just. Let's see how many ways we can do this. Yeah, I could probably do that from here too, but I already have the bomb set up, so. I wonder what the intended strat of this shrine is. There's so many ways you can do it. I think the intended strat is boomy zoomy though. They just expect you to, to learn that technique and blow yourself up over the wall. So I just, I'm too casual, I can't do it. storm for a second. Alright, where to next? Uh, looks like we're getting close to the the um I can't I think of man, my brain is just uh, moving slow today. The Zora area. That's embarrassing. I love the Zora. Okay. This area, if you know how to wind bomb, is so much easier because it's always raining there so you can't climb things and you have to go through the path and it's super slow. I think I got a bad angle on that too. What is up? I think it's, I'm gonna switch over to looking at my main screen for a second here instead of staring at the recording because I think that input delay is really slowing me down on those. Which is weird because it should just be muscle memory. Okay. And that time I didn't go into bullet time. Wonderful. We're going to be here all day trying to set up this one wind bomb. Yeah, see, I don't think it put me in the bullet time instantly there. Oh, come on. That time I don't think I can blame the, the stick flick. Uh, I think I just didn't switch back. I was too... Because I, I didn't go into bullet time immediately that time either, so I had to double tap it. And of course... I was just thinking about that and not actually doing it. Come on. What are you doing? I feel like there's something in this tree. Am I wrong? There is? It's a Korok. Well, I'm glad we messed up the Boomy Zoomy about six times so that I could get this Korok seed. Right, now we get it right. For the fans. Hello? Come on. We're not even climbing back up there. I'm getting annoyed. I'm about to go casual strats. Alright. You get one more shot. If I mess this up, I'm going into the ravine. That's right. That is right. It felt good. It looked good. We got speed. So much so we lagged the game. Where's the Lanayru Tower? I don't remember where the tower is for this area at all. I know it's it's got to be at the front. Oh, it's right over here. Okay, perfect. Um, 
I'm just gonna not. Actually, I have weapons. That's wood. That's wood. We're good. Unless the gods just decide to smite us. Okay. So this is east. Why do I keep not going into bullet time? Anybody out there know how boomy zoomies work? Why I keep failing that? Uh, I remember when I was first learning it, I was doing that a lot, and then I got better, and it stopped happening so much. I think because when you go into bullet time, it's because you like you tap the bow button really quickly, and. Uh, it doesn't actually like start shooting an arrow, it just pulls out the boat. There's that tap again. Okay, we got it. Despite the issues. We got a good angle too. Probably could have got a little bit closer. Either way, that was almost perfect. Yeah, uh, so when you when you tap the bow button it just pulls it out without knocking an arrow. Or it, without starting to shoot an arrow. But I, my guess is that... I'm going to guess that that's like two frames or three frames. Somewhere between one and five. But my guess is for not going into bullet time that it's like a one frame window. That I'm hitting it really quickly and then immediately releasing. And so the game's like... Not only do you not want to shoot an arrow, but you also don't want to go into bullet time. For some reason, you just wanted to pull the bow out. So from like a coding perspective, the first frame of pressing the button pulls out the bow, then like the second or third of holding the button activates bullet time, and then maybe the fourth or fifth um, start shooting the arrow. That would be my guess. Oh, there's Zora up here. Perfect. We got the tower. Alright, I've got three minutes, roughly. I'm gonna see if I can not goof up a bunch of boomy zoomies and if we can get all the way to um, Zora's domain. But I will have to I will have to be right on the money with pretty much all of them. I forgot this cutscene's gonna happen too, so we might not have the time, even if I was perfect. I don't know. Speedrunners could probably do it. Of course, they wouldn't be grabbing the the towers unless they were doing a hundred percent run. That's not actually that far. It's just uh, the cliff faces around it and the fact that it's gonna be raining. So what's the best way to go about this? Because it's right back there. I guess due east. I didn't know if it would be better to go up that cliffside. Glad we didn't fail it because I didn't look at my health. Yeah, so getting the super launch. See how it like froze up and lagged there? Um, that happens because I'm looking at Oh, well, probably shouldn't look down. I'm looking at that forest, um, and it's causing a lot of loading, and that's lagging the game because you shouldn't be going that fast and loading that much all at once. And so, to get a super launch, what you do is you open your paraglider on the frame that it lags, and then because of how that works, um, it'll miscalculate your speed and keep you going extremely fast for a long period of time. Um, I'm going to have to get mostly vertical on this, and I'm really bad at the vertical launches. Oh, Korok Seed. I don't think we're going to get to Zora's Domain because I'm stopping to think about this and do this Korok. Alright, we will try one more, and then wherever we land is where we stop. But I think what we're going to do... Should I, should I go for a tree launch? Probably not. I'm terrible at them. I'm, I'm like, that is one of the movement I'm really bad at. It. 
I've yet to die from it, uh, like I did with the, with the, um, you know, we'll try it, why not? I'm really bad at getting the stasis part. Yeah, I misclicked. You know what, this is probably not a good angle. The angle of the ground is really steep. I guess I could just jump off and do a booby zoomy. The problem is I think I'm gonna hit that cliff face. Cause I keep getting the super horizontal ones. Uh that might not work. Yeah, I was about to say it looked too steep. Oh, are we gonna die? Are we gonna die? We do not die, but we are now in the water. Um cool. I think with that we are gonna call it an episode down in the water. And uh yeah. We'll just deal with the fallout of that failed boomy zoomy after on the next episode. Thank y'all for watching. Uh if you wanna like the video, please do so. If you wanna dislike it, do that. Comment, subscribe, you know, all those things. I'm not your mom. And uh I hope y'all have a good day.